Welcome to Project 7, and this is going to be um, the third video tutorial in this uh, Lesson 7. And so far, we've already figured out what the board feed is on one side and the other, which it was 400 on this side and 400 on the other side, which would make, up to this point, 800 board feet. Now we've got to figure out how much board feet we have on this, on the facing of the barn. To do that, we're going to go to our elevation to the east and look at it. First thing I see is uh, we've got to figure out two little, or actually three segments here. We've got to figure out this little rectangle. We've got to figure out how much is taken away by our, our garage door. And then we've got to figure out what the eave is here. All right, we'll just do that in segments. So let's start out and let's get this overall rectangle here. How many board feet is this? and uh, we're going to pull up our calculator and have it ready and first thing I want to look at is we know that this is 30 feet across from our floor plan 30 feet and uh, now I want to go back into my elevation, my east elevation we're looking at 30 feet and 10 feet tall so let's fill this, uh, this in for board feet Alright, our width of our board, remember, was 1 inch times the 30, the 30 feet, which we need to make that into inches. So you take 30 feet and you times it by 12 inches, or 12, which would make inches, and it would be 360 inches. And then we're going to times it by our height, which is 10 feet. And it has to stay in feet. And then we'd simply divide it by twelve, which would uh, grab your calculator. Three sixty times one is itself times ten would be three thousand six hundred. Divide that by twelve, and you end up with three hundred. Okay, I'm going to quickly write that. right here 300 okay but it couldn't be right because we're we're getting this area right here all this area and we got to take away from this spot so the best thing you can do is just do a, a measurement of board feet on this area and act like it's going to have boards on it too the one inch thick so you just take this little measurements and we're just going to change it up a little bit now, what, it act like it's one inch thick, and the width of this thing was eight foot. If you look on your uh, on your first level floor plan, it is eight foot. So you got to figure out what that is in inches. Eight times twelve would be ninety six. So I'm just go ahead and put that in there. Ninety six, and then the height of it is six point five feet. And the uh, reason I got 6.5, it says 6 foot 6 inches. Well, you know, 6 inches is half of a foot. So that's where we get that. Put our calculations up here. And 1 times 96, of course, itself, times 6.5 equals 624. Divide that by 12. And it's 52. So we double click this. We're going to minus that by 52 which ultimately would lead to get your calculator out which that would be an easy one just to calculate in your head but still 248 248 board feet would be what this area here is minus minus this door so we'll leave that there and uh, I want to bold that just so I know that's what I'm looking at. And I want to kind of move this up and out of the way for now. Now, the second part of this, or the third part really, is this eave. Now, uh, if you remember, what we're going to do here is basically I'm just going to figure this thing out like it's just a square. Okay? Real quick. 
real quick and simple. And again, one inch thick and 360, because that's remember it's 30 feet times 12 is 360. And the height of this thing in feet, the length of it we're using as as we're substituting height then would be from here to here, so it would be six. 16 foot 3 inches minus 10 foot would be 6 foot 3 inches so we need to find out what 3 inches is divided by 12 0.25 okay this is going to be good 16 or 6.25 feet alright so we got that all in there let's calculate it up 1 times 360 times 6.25 equals 2,250 divided by 12. It'd take 187.5 board feet if we done this as a complete square or rectangle. But we can't do that because that's a lot of excess that we don't need. Don't need to pay for all that. Y'all remember this little formula? Area triangle equals one half base times height. Well, pretty much we already found our base times height, right? And when we're finding a, and that's all you're doing is finding your area here. We found that rectangle. We got the base times height. Only thing we have to do is divide it by half. If you're working with the triangle, so you take that number, you divide it by two, which is half. and you end up with 93.75 so ultimately and I'm going to add we'll go ahead and add that 94 board feet to this which would make 248 plus 94 342 and we'll put equals 342 and we come back to our east elevation or our floor plan and I want to put 342 board feet is needed for is needed for for that side and ultimately again what you do if it's equal sides it'd be the same so we'll just add all these up 342 times 2 would be both of them 648 plus 400 400 which is 800 and you'll need 1484 board feet